What's up everybody? Um, going down here, getting this ground blind uh, on this food plot. I'm gonna hope there's no deer already in the field. The wind's kind of died down, so I probably don't need to be all that loud. Um, had to get together, get all my stuff together in a hurry. Get down here, it's right at 410 right now, so trying to get in here um, before anything starts moving. Kind of just had to, when you work a full-time job, you kind of got to hunt when you can. And that's really what I do is I hunt when I can. So I'm going to get in this blind. I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. I made it inside the blind. Uh, now I probably look a little crazy a while ago. I'm probably now too. It's kind of what happens when you rush into trying to, you know, get off work, get ready get to the blind before all the activity starts happening so as i've mentioned like three or four times <laughs> i'm sitting on this little food plot and i'll show y'all in just a second um I sat here last night i didn't see anything i seen one squirrel we got some corn and pumpkin over there um which here in georgia is legal to bait so i typically don't but it's getting later in the year uh, i think we've got till january or something to hunt and it's like december 3rd right now um so the bucks are kind of run down from being in the rut. Uh, the does are not really on edge, not on the edge as much as they were. They're still kind of kind of on edge from being pushed so hard. Um, but down there right by where I've got the pumpkin and the corn, um, to the left of it's an opening. That's where they cross the creek from the hardwoods on the other side of the creek coming out into here. This little bottom section about 700 yards, six, 700 yards that way. There's a major highway. So we're back off it. Um, you'll probably hear some of the noise on the uh, on the audio, but it's not a whole lot I can do about that. It's a loud major highway. A lot of big trucks going up and down all the time. So we're gonna make the best of it as we can. Um, it's the only downside about this property. You don't really get the peace. Uh, you hunt, every time you hunt, you're hearing something um, on the highway, so. But I got the 300 with me, um, so hopefully a big buck walks out. It's really what I'm after is a big buck. Uh, might shoot does later, later in the year. Uh, we're gonna sit here and uh, let's see what happens. Well, we got us a nice beefy looking squirrel out there, so maybe something else to move here in a little bit. Your season's coming, buddy. Your season is coming. I spent about an hour. Um, only seen one squirrel, so we got about another hour before dark. Um, hopefully these deer get to move in about the next 30 minutes or so. Um, I've heard some stuff over here to my right. Uh, I kind of heard something back toward the creek, away from that open and to the left a little bit, so maybe we'll get some action. Uh, it'd be nice just to see something, to be honest with you.
didn't didn't really go as planned didn't go how I wanted it to go um, hopefully you know some things turn around uh, you know that's just hunting that's that's part of it you win some you lose some but uh, if you know y'all stick with me I'm gonna bring some hopefully some pretty good content that everybody likes you know build build my base and uh, go from there and I'm probably gonna stick to these vlog style I don't know if you really call it a vlog style, vlog style hunting and adventures. Um, kind of like it more than just the plain old boring sit there, wait, talk a little bit, deer, squirrels, blah, blah, blah. I like to be interactive. So it's probably going to be a pretty good challenge for me, anyways. I'm just not that talkative of a person, but hey, you know, going to give it a shot. So uh, stay tuned to the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see. And uh, till then, see y'all.